Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim. I hope everybody's having a great, uh, what's today? Saturday. I hope everybody's having a great Saturday today. As best as you can. I'm doing is the best I can do today. Uh, been a little under the weather, but you know, it is what it is. We got to push through, so I will push through. I got... Um, I think my last Valentine haul, I wanted to do it in coincide with the um, winner of the baby red heart canister. So this is what I got this week that was on the shelves. Um, the first thing I, f I found, well, my daughter found I'm gonna start off with the, I'm, I keep looking back and forth because I got stuff to the right of me and stuff to the left of me. I'm gonna start with these two mugs that I've been wanting. They're not Valentine, but I have been wanting these mugs. And one of them is the Earl Grey tea mug. Um, I wanted this mug so bad. I'm so super duper glad I found it. Well, I didn't find it. My daughter found it. I'm so glad she found it. Um, $5.99 from TJ Maxx. It has a beautiful gray inside. Love the gray mugs. I got a couple other gray mugs. Um, one or two, maybe? They're um, the dad line. Part of the dad line. But I think that gray is gorgeous. And the other one is my cup of tea with the yellow inside, canary yellow, TJ Maxx. Um, yes, if you're not my cup of tea, I don't deal with you. You must, I'm, I have to like you. If I don't like you, I give you the silent treatment. I don't, I don't even deal with you. Um, Maybe that's the Gemini in me. But I smell phony from 15 miles away. But if I like you, I like you. There's nothing phony about that. So if you're my cup of tea, you're my cup of tea. Next, I found what I didn't find. My daughter found the pink baby candy hearts this is so pretty you guys it's a blush pink you guys know what that pink looked like it has the hearts on top it's a baby she found it at marshall's for 14.99 this thing is gorgeous can't wait to display it. So glad I'm doing this this haul now so I can display it. You guys notice I got another. Well, I always had that shelf right here. I had it in the kitchen on the counter. But I, it was like a, a bronze, like a brown bronze color. I spray painted it black to match the mug rack. Um, so I can put my syrups up there so I can have more counter space, more cabinet space for my Ray Dunn tea kettle. So I know you guys noticed that. Um, another thing that my daughter found me was this XOXO potion bottle figurine. I really don't like too many of the figurine thing that doesn't have a purpose, but this was cute. So I will be displaying it somewhere throughout the house. I thought it was cute. It was $9.99 from Marshalls. It was cute. So I thank her for getting that for me. Next, I found you guys is the medium red heart all red white heart canister with the flat lid guys know i love the flat lids 
and it was $12.99 from Marshalls. Love, love, love it. I have the white, as you guys know, if you have been watching me, you know I have the small white, medium white, large white with the black heart. I have those out yearly. And these you can have out yearly too. They're gorgeous. Um, I'm on the hunt for the large. I don't have the large. I have the medium so far and the baby. So I'm on the hunt for the large one. And that was $12.99 from Marshalls. You guys, this is not really done, but I love candles. And I bought the I Love You DW line candle. It was $14.99. I love candles. This candle smells delicious. Um, has a white lid. I don't know if it has the notes on it of what fragrance it is. It just says, I love you, scented candle. But let me tell you, this candle right here, the I love you one, is the same scent as the love candle from Radon. Same scent. And this scent says bergamot rose. So I'm guessing this is Bergamot Rose. It's the same scent, people. You're welcome. So if you have this and you love it, go purchase this. If you love this and you love it, go purchase this. Same scent. I am obsessed with candles right now. Next, um, my daughter found was the Hello Pretty containers. These are so cute. They're gorge. They were $12.99 from TJ Maxx. And I'm just now opening these. I like to open them so you guys can see. They are Yeah, do everybody keep their ribbons? I do. I got a whole bag of the Ray Dunn ribbons. What I'm gonna use them for, don't know yet, but I have them. And I want to take these out so you guys can see that they have the little heart on top. These are so stinking cute. So cute, so cute. I won't bore you with opening both of them, but I did want you guys to see that they had the, uh, that they had the little heart on top. Isn't that gorgeous? So cute. So cute. I think they're gorgeous. Oh, let me show you um my mug of the day. It was a disaster today. On my Instagram, if you don't follow me on my Instagram, you should. Um, I showed my mug of the day. And this was my mug of the day. Look, I haven't even washed it. Still had coffee in it. This is my mug of the day. Gorgeous mug. I was so happy when I found this mug. But today, I made my coffee in it. And I guess there was a hairline fracture in it. And I was leaking coffee everywhere. Can you say disappointed? 
very. So now I'm, I gotta find another one like this because I thought I had all the heart mugs. Um, apparently this one is no good now. So I have to find this one. Anybody got it? Send it to me. I'll trade you with something. You don't have to give it to me for nothing. I, I have, I might have something to trade with you. Next, I found, I well, next I got this off uh, Marshalls.com. And it is the Pink Love Nest Birdhouse. I have not shown a birdhouse in a second. You guys know I love the birdhouses. I, it has the nest with the eggs on the back gorgeous you guys know how much they cost i shouldn't have to tell you how much they cost but it's the love nest in pink i hope my camera is doing it justice to show you the color of the pink but if you're into ray dunn you know what color pink this is gorgeous love nest it's pink people it's pink so i'm gonna as soon as i can get off this video i will be displaying it somewhere the next item I've got was the Lovebird Pink. And this came off the TJ Maxx website. Lovebirds, and they have the Lovebirds on the back. And it's in that same pink. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I was at the store, let me see, one, a couple days ago. I saw the white one. I said, hmm, I don't need that one. I got the pink one. So this one will be displayed mm, through Valentine, from Valentine's through spring. I will have this out. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I love the bird houses. You guys know I collect the bird houses also. And that's all that I have for um for this week for the for the Valentine. I'm, I'll keep I keep looking, make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Um, and I will be announcing the winner of the heart baby canister. Uh just bear with me, people. Now, I did the um I had the Target bubblegum machine things that I painted. Um, this was the very first time that I've ever like spray painted, did a DIY spray paint anything. So I was very proud of myself. I don't care what nobody else thinks, say, or whatever. This is my very first time doing it. I don't know if you guys watched the video of, of me spray painting my first one. I did it inside the house because here in New York, we have snow, it rains. I was not going outside, so say what you want. Um, I taped off everything, say what you want. I don't care. I think it came out beautiful. This is the pink one. Love it. It came out gorgeous from the bottom to the top. Came out gorgeous. And this is the one I will be using. I'll put it out for Valentine's Day. I love the way it came out. It may have taken me forever to put the tape on. So be it. Like I said, this is the first time that I've ever spray painted anything. So I was trying to make sure I covered the lines and everything. So this one was done with the tape all around it. Okay, came out great. I also did a white one to go with my Ray Dunn stuff. So whenever I, I put out my everyday Ray Dunn, which I have a lot of, I will be displaying the white one with it. I am so proud of myself with these gumball machines, okay? So 
those were the first two I did with tape. So then I, I was I, I was seeing a couple other people do it with um a, a rubber a surgical glove, just you know, a disposable rubber glove. So I did this one with the glove. Now, me personally, I think the tape works better. It's more precise. It's more accurate. But I went on and did the glove with this one. This is for, I did a gold, I did this one for my beeline that I have. Um, this is the closest to the color I could get. I think it came out great. I think it came out great. Um, there's a the little imperfections around here. If I had used tape, it would have came out much better. But yes, but this is for my beeline. When I put my beeline collection out, I will display this with it. Now, I have one more. I have one more gumball machine. Now, I want you guys to tell me in the comment if I should, I'm going to spray paint it black. I need you guys to tell me, should I spray paint it um, a gloss black? a flat or not flat but a matte black or a semi semi gloss um black um but it will be black so i need feedback on which color do you guys think i should do it in i need this feedback people i hope you guys are subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel it costs nothing just hit subscribe if you like what you see. Only if you like what you see. Um, and comment. I love to interact with people. I am such an introvert. So interacting with you guys gives me life. So if you guys can hit me back and let me know if you think I should spray paint it a gloss black, a matte black, or a satin black. I already have the gloss black and I already have the matte black. Let me know, please, in the comments. Hit like if you like this video. Now, let's get to the winner of the baby heart canister. And the winner, I'm looking at my notes, so. The winner, oh, 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 before I forget, let me tell you. My ISO, if anybody out there has anything to trade, my ISO, I need the, what do I need? Here we go. To complete my B line like this with the gold interior, I need let it be with the gold and I need be still with the gold. So if you want to trade anything with me for those two mugs, I'm willing to trade. I need those in my life. Okay, back to, back to it. The winner of the Baby Red Heart Camster is Peachtree78. Congratulations, Peachtree78. Please contact me at ninja14woman at gmail.com to give me your information to let me know where to ship your canister to you. And once again, congratulations, Peachtree78. Thank you for supporting me and watching little old me taking time out of your schedule to sit and watch me. I appreciate you so much. So everybody out there, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, and that's it till next week, guys. Next week, I will have hopefully some St. Patrick's Day stuff for you. Stay tuned. Remember, live life. YOLO. Do you.
Bye.